What is going on YouTube? This is Ladizzi. I'm coming at you guys today with another video. You guys already know what it is. One of the biggest releases of every year. The Air Jordan 11. As you guys can see, we picked up these Jordan 11s right here. The uh, 72 10s. This shoe, actually, I thought that it was going to be easier to get, but it was a little bit harder this year to get than uh, previous releases of the Jordan 11. But I did manage to get them, and I have them in hand for you guys. Going to give you guys my first impressions of the shoe. Before we get into the video, if you guys just want to go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate that. It really helps out the channel. It's helping the channel grow for sure. Uh, make sure that you share the video as well. Leave your comments below after the video. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting with the Jordan box. You guys already see it's a blacked out Jordan box. Same as the... Uh the Jordan 11 boxes that's been coming out except for it's black on black and then it has this metallic red pull out tab right there and it also has a metallic red jump man on the sides right there and then right there on the on the bottom or where the pull out part is you see it says the Jordan jump man right there on the box or uh, yeah the Jordan jump man and then it has the 23 right there embossed into the top Hopefully you guys can see that, but there it is. Let's go ahead and get into the shoe. All right, you guys see the red film right there on the top of the box. And now getting into the actual shoe. Side. Pull this up. So there you guys go. Let me give you guys a quick 360 of the shoe. Here it is. So there you go. The bottom right there. Top look right there. So first impressions of this shoe, man. This shoe is actually a very, very dope colorway. It's a very nice nicely put together shoe it's um it's not as cheap as i thought it was going to be i thought that the tumbled leather was actually going to be kind of hard on this upper material but it's actually quite soft like i'm really pushing in this and you can actually see it denting in right there it's really soft really plush right there let me get that zoomed in for you guys or get it focused i should say it's really soft you guys can see as i'm pushing it down it just really looks really soft and that, that goes for almost all of this. It's actually It actually gets harder as you get to the outside, but the tongue for sure, really soft. Um, this patent leather is actually um, pretty much just like every other patent leather on the Jordan 11s. It's maybe a little bit harder, but it could also be because it has like the shoe tree inside right now, but I didn't pull out the shoe tree, so that's probably why it feels hard right now. But um, there you guys go. I really like this milky white bottom. Um, it's way better than that blue bottom that they've been putting on the Jordan 11s in the past couple of releases. I really like the milky bottom way better. Um, white out midsole. Uh, this is actually very reminiscent of the Jordan Space Jam, believe it or not. It's basically the same exact colorway except for this is a red jump man instead of a blue jump man. The materials are different, but as far as the colorway goes, very, very close to the Space Jam. But all in all, a really, really dope shoe, man. Like, this shoe really impressed me this year because I thought that, once again, the tumbled leather was going to be harder than it is, and it's actually really soft. I thought that the suede was going to be just like some BS new buck material, but it's actually some... It's, it's not really suede, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not the, like, authentic, real suede that changes colors, but it is a nice, soft material, once again. But, uh... The outsoles uh, were really made me like the shoe because if it had a that blue outsole, I don't think that I would have picked this one up, to be honest. Um, it's really not, that blue outsole is just kind of not the business for half of the shoes that came out. So I passed on a lot of shoes because of that and this one for sure wasn't a pass because of that. Definitely overall a great shoe for a new colorway. That stitching on the back, this is probably the best thing that they could have done for a Jordan 11 because as you guys know on the older Jordan 11s, that stitching on the back would uh, peel off. Or not stitching, but uh, it used to be screen printed with the 23, but it used to peel off and they actually stitched it in this time, which is really good because um, that peeling, once it peeled off, man, it was just uh, kind of destroyed the shoe, you know what I'm saying? So 
that's that. I mean, I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions. The price point was $220. Once again, uh, another shoe for $220. I don't really mind this one being 220 to be honest. I actually would rather pay 220 for this than the Maroon 6 because of the materials. The materials are actually decent on this compared to the Maroon 6s. But all in all, classic silhouette Jordan 11, uh, just a new colorway and it's actually once again reminiscent of the Space Jam which is my favorite Jordan 11. Space Jam is my favorite and um, this one right here is pretty similar to that so uh, this one is going to go uh, up at the top of my favorite Jordan 11s. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you guys my first impressions. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys picked them up. Let me know what you guys think of the shoe. Um, if you guys have the same opinions, let me know if you have different opinions. Let me know if you think that uh, it was worth the $220 retail price. Uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description below. Make sure to keep using that hashtag DSneaks on Instagram. I will leave it on the screen right now so that you guys can go find that and uh, use it on Instagram. Keep showing me all your dope sneaker pictures. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.